How's it going guys and welcome back to episode 3 of the Aston Villa career mode and the first thing we're going to do today is show off our new, our brand new signing, the first signing of the transfer window and it is this man here, Bertrand Traore, cost us £5.1 million, 74 rated already at 19 years of age, 87 pace, good vision, balance, good speed, stamina, strength, decent finishing at 74, good dribbling, good shot power, good ball control. He can play right wing, he's got four star skills, three star weak foot. I see he's only 19 years old, he's already 74. I reckon with a bit of training, this guy could be the main man. I'm going to start him as our main striker. He'll be the kind of player that gets in behind the, the center ass and guess that will kind of be like the target man. But overall, the team's looking good now, guys. I want to try and get an attacking player in. I'm still looking for definitely a fullback as cover. I'm looking at Joe Gomez from Liverpool. Also, possibly a midfielder. Bazaar from Ajax is rumored to be linked, whether it's a loan deal or a transfer yet to really... Uh, I'll probably go and I'll try and buy him, but I think at very worst a loan deal could be on the cards. And I still wouldn't mind maybe another wide player, but we'll get into transfers a little bit later into the uh, video. But yeah, guys, let's do it. Episode 3, Aston Villa Career Mode. Hopefully, we can start the uh, Premier League campaign today. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series so far, and let's do this. Right, guys, I'm going to show you my shortlist. And now, at the top here, you see Joel Matip is actually out of contract in the summer. So I might put, a, I'm going to definitely uh, monitor his situation at, uh, at Schalke. Now, if he is a free come January still, I'll definitely be looking to try and bring him in next year. We've got decent center offs for now, but I think if we can obviously move the club forward, he's a player that could definitely improve the squad in the summer. Now, I've sent inquiries for Joe Gomez, who hopefully won't cost more than about 1.52 mil. I've sent an inquiry for Lasani Bangura, who's actually got an 80 odd potential. This guy looks really good from a Rayo Vallecano. We've inquired about Bazaar. I mean, I reckon it'll be fairly expensive, but a loan deal could happen there. We also inquired for Paul George Entet from Stadio Renz. Never used this guy before. He looks pretty good as well. And also inquired for Gonzalo Guedes, who can play obviously left mid and cam. So hopefully in this video, guys, we'll be able to at least hear back for a few of these players. If not, maybe try and bring in one or two more new faces. And hopefully we get one or two out the door as well. But yeah, guys, let's carry on. Right, I've had two emails back, guys. Bazaar's rumoured to be costing in the region of £9 million. And they want 5.5 for Guedes. Now, to me, a midfielder's... <laughs> It's not priority. I still want another kind of attacking player. Scoring goals will be the problem. But another kind of body, especially someone like Bazaar in midfield, wouldn't go amiss. We'll, we're going to go for another bid here. I always say go just over half. So we're going to try a £5 million bid for him. Uh, Richard Lee Bazaar. This guy is an absolute... I think he's got like 80... I want to say 88 potential this year. At least 85, I'd imagine. £5 million for him. That could be an absolute beast in midfield for us. And we're going to go back in for Guedes at, say, 3.2 million? Well, yeah, we'll try 3. Point, we'll try 3.2 for him. Wow, guys, another four inquiries came through. Paul George and Tep, 16.5. To me, that seems a little bit out of our kind of price range. Angel Correa as well, 16 million. We'll leave him for now. So we've got Bertrand Traore, who's going to be our main striker up front now. Gomez, inquiry. Recently, oh, he's recently joined, hasn't he? Of course. Uh... Another inquiry that came back was Lassane Bangura. 10 million. This guy's out of contract in another six months. Are you kidding me? 10 million? I'll try like... I'm not going to go too much. Let's try four. So I can always wait. I can get him on a free in six months. So we'll, we'll try four million pounds. He does look very good though. We've actually heard back from Wilfred Zaha here, guys. 7.2 for Zaha. I mean... I'll leave him for now. I'm not really too sure he's the guy I want to bring in. For now, I'll leave him for now. Seven millions of what is it, about half our money, I believe. Let's have a look. We've got yeah, we, oh no, we've got twenty one point five million budget. Seven point two for Zaha. I'll see what happens with Bangura first. But Zaha can play left, right. You know, good skill, good pace. He could fit in well to this team. Obviously, with Agbonghor, Sinclair, Adama, Gill on the wings. I kind of class Gill as more of a cam than a right wing. Uh, I still do think we're lacking another wide player for sure. Maybe who, let me know in the comments, guys. Who are you thinking? Zaha, Bangura. Let me know who do you who would you prefer, guys. Let me know in the comments. I'll leave him for now. At least I know Gonzalo Guedes will cost me about five point five. I'll leave him for now. Right, loan to buy offer. We've decided to reject. Uh, let's just try and loan him for. I'm gonna let's go for a short loan. And what we'll do is we'll try and buy him in January. I think instead we'll get him on a short loan till Jan. Then we'll try and buy him. Let's try that short loan. Five percent clean sheet. I want this player at the club back. Like, he's my main target right now. I want a fullback who can also play, you know, a bit of cover at centre-half as well. They want £9 million for Bazaar. He is worth it, but can I can I really afford it? I mean, I can afford it, I guess, but it's a it's a big price tag for someone at 18 years of age. Obviously, for a club like Villa to spend that kind of money, it's a big ask. Let's try 6.5. Right, guys, for this week's training, we've got Bakuna, 
El Rondo doing some more defensive stats. We've got Amave with his passing. Akure defending again. This guy, I do feel like I picked the probably the highest five potential players here. Obviously, you've got Greenish keeping possession. And obviously, our new signing, Traore, gets his first session for the club. Chance creation. Let's see how they get on this week, guys. We'll simulate this time. Let me know if you want me to actually play him in the comments, lads. I mean, I, I'm up for playing it if you'd like to see that, but... You still get pretty good results through Sim. C's on the board, apart from Greenish, you've got a D. Not a bad week training there. Hopefully, if we keep it consistent every week, these players will grow pretty damn quick. A Kore for me, Traore and Greenish are probably the main three. Although last year, Bakuna was an absolute tank as well. I think Pers I think he is worth it. Let's try 7.5. Let's try 7.5 for Bazaar. He's a lot more expensive this year, that's for sure. And also, we've got... A oh, we've accepted it. Nice. L short loan from uh, Liverpool. Joe Gomez will sign for Villa. That's the, probably my main target. Since we've got Traore, he's the one I kind of wanted to get in. I so he can play all across the back four. Good potential. You know, good pace. Strong. He's a young player. And hopefully, if he does well, I'll try and buy him in January. And hopefully, the price tag that Liverpool set isn't going to be too much. But we'll accept that deal. Second signing done. Joe Gomez on a short line. I think it's six months. And he signs for the club. Right. Oh, it's a finally accepted, guys. 7.5. If we pull off... Bertrand Traore, Joe Gomez, Bazaar, and possibly another wide player in this window. That would probably be like a, you know, a great summer for Villa. If we can get four players in, it's probably more than what I wanted to buy at the start. But we're on legendary guys. I need to try and have a strong team here, a strong squad. I need, I need goals. And I do feel like Bazaar, Traore, Gomez, and one wide player could give us a real you know, strength, a strong, good, in-depth squad. Hopefully we can beat West Brom to the sign. He wants 9k a week. Is that it? 9k a week. We'll give him a four-year contract. He will be an important player for us. Let's try that. Right, we've got another week of training, guys. We're going to go for exactly the same as last week. Hopefully, these guys can uh, keep on growing. Akore is very close now to 78. Uh, Greenish is now 74. And Traore is very close to 75. We're going to simulate this again, guys. Again, in the comments, let me know if you want me to try out and play this. Let me know. I'm happy to try the drills if you want to see that. Let's go. Week, is it three training now, I believe? C, C, A, B, C. What a week. Akore is now 78 rated. Oh, Bakuna is very close to 74. They're growing well, guys. I do feel like Akore there has, took a massive jump. One on two defending. Got an A grade. Not bad at all. I'm pretty sure, guys, the Bournemouth game is now, what, a week away. We've signed Gomez. Bazaar's been accepted. We've got Traore. Can we put in one more player before the uh, first game of the season? Let's find out. And there we have it, guys. Bazaar has accepted his contract. 7.5. 9k a week. Let me know in the comments, guys. Do you think he's... Do you think so far the signings we've made have been good? Traore, now Bazaar, and obviously Gomez on loan. Are you happy with the signings so far? If you were a Villa fan, would you be happy with that? Personally, I think we've made three good, young, you know, high potential players there. I'm going to try and sign, obviously, Gomez permanently if he does well. Bang. Midfield sorted. Bazaar signs. £14 million left. I want a wide player. Next, next target now is to get at least one more wide player. I think four signings max will do. One more wide player. Give us a bit more kind of depth on the wings. And I think we're good to have a real crack at the Prem this year. Again, guys, in the comments, let me know. What's a realistic first season? I'm still thinking maybe top 10, top 8 possibly. Is European football too much to ask? We'll have to wait and see. But let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys think. And the Bournemouth game is about literally now three days away. I cannot wait for it. First game. Let's do it. Right, guys, it's finally here. Our first game. The opening day of the Barclays Premier League season. It's against Bournemouth. Now, I've done the kit numbers. Bertrand Traore will be our number 10. He'll be the leading talisman. Uh, the, the team for the first game will be Sinclair, Traore, and Bonglahor. Carlos Gill in Cannes. Beretout, Westwood, Richards, Akore, Amave, and Bakuna. Guzan's back. Adama's on the bench. Greenish on the bench. We've started Bazaar on the bench for now. So, same with Gomez. It's a pretty strong team there, guys. I've got options with, you know, Target Man, Guest Ed. Good uh, wide options with Greenish, Adama, you know, Gomez, Bazaar in midfield as well. It's a good, good solid bench. And I'm, I think, guys, one more wide player to kind of replace maybe AU on the bench. Or, you know, I think one more winger. We're, we're, we're good to go here. The team's looking very strong. That's the first 11, guys. Bournemouth away. Let's do this. And it begins, guys. Aston Villa crew mode, episode three. The Premier League begins. The opening day away at the Vitality Stadium, Bournemouth Villa. And we are underway. Corey finds Sinclair. I do feel like on Legendary, goal scoring is a problem. I've defended pretty well on my Leeds crew, on my streams, guys. Make sure you do come and check me out on Twitch. We're almost at 8,000 followers. I'll leave the link below. And Armada goes by to Sinclair. Great little ball. Sinclair's ball in. Traore. Oh. And Richards does really well. Strong player. Recoro, 78 already. Switch towards a Bonglahor. He's got the pace. What's a ball that is? A Bonglahor. 
Cuts onto his weaker left foot, but he chips one in towards Traore. Gets blocked out. Sinclair's there. His sermon. Bit of definitely starting the stronger team here. Amave he scored obviously that wonder goal in pre-season. Almost defending pretty well so far. There's Gill. Carlos Gill to finesse one. Oh! <laughs> For a second I thought he'd crept in. Really tame shot. A really piss poor shot. But it's almost found the corner. Keepers just obviously felt confident enough to let it go wide. First real chance there for Villa. And there we have it, guys. Half time. I'm going to make one or two changes. I'm going to bring on Greedish and Cam. For Gill. We're going to bring on Bazori midfield for Westwood. I'll leave Adama for now. I'll leave Adama for now. Two subs at half time, guys. We need to try and get, get on the ball in the final third. Traore's barely had a touch in his debut. But I'm still hoping we can at least get maybe half a chance. Nick the game with a win. A point opening day is not too bad. Let's see if we can get a goal second half. Just can't get on the ball at all. Really good on the ball, Bournemouth. Greedish wins it back. Azor, his first touch in a bit of shot. This kit, by the way, is nice. I like the old yellow shirt. Traore gets involved, finally. Lays through Scott Sinclair. Should be on side. Sinclair. Across Scott Sinclair. Bit of lead. Six minutes into the second half. Great play from Traore. Lays through Sinclair. And he scores Villa's first Premier League goal. Away from home here against Bournemouth. Great play from Traore. I thought he was offside at first. He isn't. Takes his time. Good left foot strike across the goalie. Great finish. Bottom corner. Far corner. And Villa lead 1-0. Amave does really well. Intercepts really well. Amave is going to go alone here. The left back. He's gone alone. Amave the left back. He's got a go Oh, what a tackle that is. Ref. What a tackle. Is it Distan? What a tackle. Definitely say that at least a shot on goal there, if not a certain goal, 1v1 really. Richards, you're going to get outpaced here by Atsu. Christian Atsu. Oh, good goodness. I don't know who. I think it was all actually back there. Pazor got back in, but Harry Arta, Bournemouth can't get that one half here. Gradle across to Wilson. Guzan collects. We live, we survive there. Good play that from Gradle on the left hand side. And Villa get away with it. 20 minutes left. Adama has come on for Villa, guys. Made our third sub. And ball, that's pretty Bournemouth's best chance so far. Is Greedish. Jack Greedish got space to run into. Wide towards Sinclair. Scored the first goal. Sinclair. Little fake shot. Cuts back inside. Sinclair. Ref. Another quality tackle, man. Callum Wilson. Well in by Bakuna. Here's Greedish again. Bit of break. It's 3v2. They've gone for it, clearly. Looking towards Traore. Takes the first touch. Bertrand Trey on his debut. Oh, the tackles. Uh, That's the third absolute top class tackle this game from the uh, Bournemouth centre halves. I think it was this time again. Three absolute, uh, you know, goal saving tackles. Absolutely insane defending. Here's Armave. Ten minutes left. Don't fuck about the back. What a game this has been. End to end. Second half picked up big time. Armave. Richards Welling. Good strong play from the centre half. Real good power. Oh, what a win that is. First win, guys. 1-0 away at Bournemouth. Sinclair got the goal. I think definitely second half we deserved it. Much better team. We had three or four chances. They had a couple chances, but their defending was really good. They put in, you know, two or three top-class slide tackles. I feel overall we deserved the win. Definitely happy with that. And that's our first three points of the season, guys. Away at Bournemouth. Same again this week, guys. Bakuna, Amave, Okore, Grealish and Traore. These are the main five players I want to try and bulk up for now. Any other players? You like? I think I saw someone say Gil in the comments before. Someone said about the goalkeepers, but when you've got Guzan, if, it, if I had like a younger goalie, I would. But for now, I'm going to leave the goalkeeper out. But yeah, any players you want to see me train, guys, let me know in the comments. For now, I think these are the main five. They've all grown pretty well. We'll simulate this week again. Hopefully, we get at least C+. C, C, B, B, B. Nice. Traore is now 75. So is Bakuna. Wow. They oh, sorry. 74 for Bakuna. They are growing well, guys. And there we go. Week four, I think, training done there. Right, guys. We just sold Philippe Senderos for 800k. Now, the biggest decision now before the main night game, we'll just, in the comments, guys, let me know. Who do you want on the wing? Wilfred Zaha is one player. Bangura is another player. Me, personally, I think I want to go for that Bangura guy. Any other wide players, let me know in the comments below. You guys can decide who I'm going to buy on the wing. Give me some kind of feedback. But a good result there against Bournemouth for first win. Up next is Manchester United. I've had a transfer off for Joe Cole. 800 for, do you know what he could go as well? He's another player that ain't going to play. Crystal Palace, 800k again. Get him for the wage bill. Him and Senderos out. Hopefully one more player in. And I think it's been a very successful window. Right, so here guys. We've got Manchester United at home. Let's have a quick look at the table. Obviously one game in. 
We are sixth. One win, one goal, four. None against. Man United won their first game, won that as well. We're at home against Manchester United. Let's look at the team. I think I might make one sub. And I'm going to bring on Grealish for Gil. I do feel Grealish played a lot better second half than what he did first half. So I'll bring in Grealish there. I'm going to start Bazaar as well for Westwood. But apart from that, the team's looking strong. Traore up front. A Bongla horse in Clare. It's a pretty good first 11. Now see how we go. Manchester United at home, guys. We beat Bournemouth. Can we get anything against them? Probably a, a, you know, a bonus. Let's see how we get on. And we're underway at Villa Park. Our first home game is against Manchester United. I said anything here is probably a bonus. Got a good win opening day. Less pressure now on this one here. And we got underway at Bong Lahore in towards Grealish's feet. He played well second half. He gets his start. Veratout looks over the top towards Amave. He's made a good run left hand side. Jordan Amave. All in towards Jack Grealish. Away was it De Gea or Valdez? I can see who that was there in goal for United. Akore. Good start. Side towards Bazaar. Jack Grealish, who's picked up you know decent space, kind of in the pocket in the number ten role. Traore. Patience from Villa, Veratout. They'll try and wait for the opening. Finds Bakuna. His ball wide towards Bazaar. Little one two of Abonglahor. Gives it again. Back to Bazaar. Bakuna. Patience is a virtue here. Hopefully, something will open up. There's Traore. Bit of space for him. Bertrand. Sinclair. All Villa at the minute. First 20 minutes. Good start from the home side. Veratout. Bazaar. Bakuna. Veratel gets caught in possession. Is Mata breaking forward for United. Rooney's in the middle. Goes over. Surely he's offside. Surely. Yep. Three players on the deck there. Is Blind. Sure. Grealish goes to. So is Bakuna. Get it out. Get it out. One of you. Half chance there from. Is it? Is Rooney. Half chance on the volley. No one really closed him down. I think Guzan had it covered. But she had no chance to report her at all first half. Really poor. Amavi. Bazaar. Grealish. Something might open up here. Looks for Sinclair. Finds him. Trouble is we haven't really got Gestet to aim for in the box. Back towards Amavi. Can we get something before half time? Grealish. Better from Villa. Moving it quicker. A Bonglahor. Little spin. Goes for God. A Bonglahor. Deflection. Villa corner. First real chance of actually have a, to have a shot at goal there. Veritas came short. Better angle for the cross. But it's a really poor delivery. And Valdez says, thank you very much. That'll be half time. One shot in the first half, guys. Really poor. I'm actually going to bring on Gested for Traore and change into a target man. Try and change the kind of dynamic of the team. It's not really working so far. I'm going to try and get more balls in towards him in the box. And hopefully it pays off. I mean, a point against these wouldn't be a bad result. Hopefully we can try and nick a winner. We'll see how the second half goes. Poor delivery again. Very poor game. It really has been again. Scrappy game. Right, we just brought on Adama for our Bonglahor guys. I did say he's been poor. Adama gets half an hour on the pitch here. Hopefully he can make some sort of impact on the right-hand side there. Veritao in towards Bazaar. Straight away we get on the right with Bakuna. Adama's on side. Here he is. Got the pace, but he actually gets caught by Shaw. But he wins it back. Adama. Good play. Good strong play. Adama into the box. Pick him out. Gestead takes us up. It's a penalty. He's literally just came on the pitch. Within three minutes, he's won us a penalty. Great run from Adama. Good strength. Good pace. Villa have won a penalty. Adama wins it. He's been on the pitch barely three minutes. What a sub. That's what you call a, like an impact sub there, guys. Massive chance for Villa. Who's taking it? I don't even know who are. Sinclair, maybe? I'm not even sure who it would be. That's what you call an impact subs. Adama, great play. Draws the foul. Penalty Villa. And it is Scott Sinclair versus Valdez, guys. Sinclair. Trademark Barnes. Top left. Scores. Villa lead against Manu. In front of the Sky Sports cameras. Two in two for Sinclair. He's been the goal scorer so far. We've kind of turned to good composure. But it was all about Adama. Impact sub. Good run. Draws the foul. And this could be a massive win here, guys. Massive three points we can hold on. Right, we're just going to try and sit back now, guys. Defend what we've got. Try and steal the three points if we can. I think it's not been a great game, but to win the game would be huge. Away by Bakuna. Not, he wasn't. Oh, God. Again, a, a, a ball across the face of anyone from May. Is that a, what? A corner? How? Get rid of it. Guzan comes. He gets there. Gestead flicks it on. 
Villa are kind of cramped in their own half now, but I'm going to try and defend what I've got here, guys. 1-0. Defend what you've got. Good ball through. Offside. And there we have it. What a win. Two wins from two, guys. Sinclair's got two. Both 1-0. Two clean sheets. Two wins. Six points from six. What a start to the season, guys. Unbelievable start. Two wins from two. Guys, we just re received the transfer offer for Libor Kozak, who's a player I want to get out of the club. He's... Two points. He can go to Newcastle for 2.7. That's him gone, Cole gone, Senderos gone. Kind of get rid of like the dead wood. We brought in three good players. We got rid of three players we wanted out. 2.7 for him. He can go. But what a start. That Adama substitution there that last game was just tactical genius from me there. From Barnes. Came on. First touch. Gets the uh, penalty for us. Hey Gaff, I really appreciate you listening to me and letting me know why he's Grealish. He's been really good for me so far, Grealish. Really impressed with him. Quick look at the table, guys. Where are we? Hopefully we're at... We are top, lads. We are top of the Premier League. What a start. Let me know in the comments, guys. A wide player to go for. Do you want to see Zaha join Bangura? Another player, let me know if you want me to search someone else. But yeah, guys, two wins from two. A great start to the season. We've brought in three good players. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video, guys. If you have, leave a like, share, subscribe if you are new. And I will catch you guys next time.